So, as you know, we've been testing out the Dollars MoCap uh, webcam-based MoCap system. And what we wanted to do was create a way that people could test it out for themselves. So we have packaged up um, a project in Unreal. And what you can see here is we've got some different versions. So we've got a cartoon Camilla character that we've recently just uh, released onto the Relusion content store and marketplace. Uh, this is one of the uh, characters, I think it's Eddie, maybe, um, from the iClone store. And we have a iPhone facial capture version. Uh, so with this one, we've got an office scenery, an overlay mode, which we can use with OBS uh, to get some transparency, and I'll explain about that, and a green screen mode as well. Um, then we've got the dollars facial capture. So that uses the webcam uh, from dollars. And then again, and we've got the same with this case. So we'll go through each one and show what they do. So iPhone mode. This is um, the cartoon version of Camilla that we created. And the face is being controlled with the iPhone. Which gives a really nice facial capture. But the body's all being animated using uh, dollars mono. So let's put this down here. And as you can see, it does a pretty good job. If we go back out and we go to overlay mode. So overlay mode, um, what this does is... It... So yeah, if we open up OBS um, and bring this in here, you can see we've got character there. We can um, actually, if we go to here, we can actually trigger the X for close up. C key brings it back to the main one, and V brings it down to the corner. So if we go back to OBS, you can see we can have this as in a kind of Twitch gaming setup, and then we can come back out and we can do the same thing for this character here. And again, if we press hit the V key, testing one, two. So this all works uh, pretty well. Um, we've got, again, we've got the green screen version. Oh, so let's go back out. If we go to overlay mode, um, you'll see the input has allowed transparency turned on. So basically the transparency is coming from the app. Um, if we turn the allowed transparency off, um, we can now, this is where we can go back here and go to green screen mode and then in green screen mode if we want to do it that way we can add chroma key and then let's put that to default and yeah you get the same effect but obviously uh, with the overlay um, it's a much cleaner setup so um, next we've also got the Dollars facial capture. So this now is taking my facial capture from directly from Dollars. Testing one, two. Obviously, it doesn't do as good a job as the iPhone, but it's a much cheaper solution. Um, there are some settings in here that you can play around with uh, to adjust. Testing one, two. And then we can do the same here. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two. So if it's not too bad, it works pretty well. But the reason for putting this together is um, I wanted to put something out there where you could test it out for yourself and see what you think. And also, you know, this is the type of thing where we could quite easily create new characters and put these in for people as well. This is just a real quick demo um, so I haven't gone too in depth in setting up the cameras properly and things like that or having uh, different camera cuts just got a few for the overlay mode um, but what I also did want to explain is um, how to install this so we're putting this on the store for free so feel free to download have a play around but there's just some setup which will be in PDFs that I will put 
uh, with the file so you can check it out for yourselves. So there's some tips that might help the process. One of the uh, one tip as well is if you press Alt and Enter on here, you can turn this into a windowed mode, which is um, a bit better to work with. One thing I noticed when installing this on another PC is I got a message saying that I needed to install C++ or Microsoft Visual Studio. Um, if you go into the folder Engine, Extras, Redist, and this one, and then go and then install this uh, UE prereq setup. That will um, install that for you, and then then it will work. Um, so that's just one thing to bear in mind. Um, also, when starting it for the first time, it may ask you to allow ARM um, private and public network. If you do so, that's going to allow for the iPhone to come through, because this is the one thing that um, can sometimes be quite tricky is getting the iPhone to connect to the PC, but you need to make sure that um, it's allowed through like your firewall and through... Um... So I will be adding a PDF uh, with the downloaded file where you can it'll run through how to set up um, the app on your phone for the live link. So you just basically download the live link app. Um, you have to add your IP address. And again, uh, there's steps to do that and name the phone in a certain in a certain way in the app and then you should be connected um to be able to connect through and if you have any questions feel free to send us a message and we can try and help uh for dollars mocap it's a case of just going to their website and i'll put links below uh, so if you download dollars mono you'll be able to run the app and all you have to do in here is select ue streaming and that will connect you uh, to the app. So Dollars um, offers a, a free version. Um, I, I believe it runs the app for so many seconds. Um, I think you get like 20 or 30 seconds and then it will pause the streaming for a while. So it's a good way to test it out. Um, it's a very cheap, I believe it's uh, $99 uh, for the app, but um, definitely check that out on the website. And, and just have a play around. Um, and feel free to let us know in the comments below what you think, um, what you think could be improved. Um, we just think it's a great, cheap solution for people to kind of test this stuff out and, you know, do some pretty cool stuff. And don't forget to get in touch with Digital Puppets for any 2D or 3D character creation needs or animation work. We're always happy to help.